Hey guys, good morning and hope you everybody had a great weekend and welcome to my latest uh, subscriber to add into my guest book here, Christy Hardy. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing to the channel and I so appreciate it. I really do. Um, uh, guess who came to visit last night? The skunk. Yeah, he was back. It was so funny. I heard a noise on the porch and I thought, that well, doesn't really sound like Buddy the cat. So I opened up the door and I was like, oh gosh, yeah, he's back. So I pulled out my headlamp and I shined it, sh shined it down. And it was not only the skunk, but I've got this, you know, the cat bowls that are one unit, but there's a, a spot here and a spot there, one for water, one for food. Well, I had food in both. Well, the possum, a small possum was eating out of one side and the skunk was eating out of other. And I was just like, you guys are crazy. I mean, how on earth that poor possum stood to be near that skunk, I'll never know. But I was about to die from the smell, so amazing, amazing possum. They, he, he must have had some damage to his sinuses or something. But anyways, the house really smells bad. I've been burning Yankee candles and everything trying to get the stench out and it ain't working. Oh, goodness. Yeah. So, and, and it's even worse on the porch where it actually happened. So, thank you, Peppy, uh, for your contribution this last night as your gift continues to keep on giving. Okay, so, great news. I am fully back to health again. So relieved. Um, and I was able to get uh, af Motsi Shabbos after Shabbos Saturday night. I was able to get this finished. Yes! And it goes with the mitts that the uh, customer already has. Customer being my great niece. No, she's not my great niece. She's my niece-in-law. There we go. So anyways, uh, I got this all done and all my concerns about the way that the uh, yarn was feeling, whether it was actually going to be thick enough, warm enough, whatever, are all laid to rest because it really turned out nice. And the only thing I wish I could get the hang of is making an I-cord, knitting an I-cord quickly. I do not knit a 20-inch I-cord quickly at all. And uh, what I didn't like is I kept splitting the yarn and it shows if you, if I undid this, I could show you and you could see where, oh, yarn split. Yeah. And I didn't notice it because I was also watching TV. Uh, well, not TV, but Netflix. So anyway, so this is all done. And if you could see it in person, it looks just amazing. Uh, so I'm really happy the way that turned out. And um, today I've just got to get these sewn up the sides. Those will be ready to go. Those are uh, another pair of mitts. Um, I've got some of these along with a, a hat and uh, maybe a few other items that are going to go out the door today um, uh, that I'm going to mail out uh, to the consignment shop because I got a check back from them on Friday. And uh, so I've got to get them some more supplies. And I wish we could just drive out, but it's on a really crappy country road getting to that shop and mom hates the drive. So it's like, okay, fine. And since I can't drive a car yet, uh, thanks to problems from my stroke, um, <laughs> I hate this, uh, I can't get out. And, but I'm, I've got to, I'm planning on in March, um, sending my scooter off to have it fixed, uh, because I've got to get back on the road. Uh, I can't, I can't branch out. I can't, you know, why bother uh, selling things to consignment shops if practically your entire, um, um, profit ends up going back into shipping to mail more stuff to them. So I'm having to encourage myself at this point and say, well, you know, it's getting my name out and I trim the corners of my business cards and I use those and I hole punch in the top and then I attach those to the product. That way they've at least got my business card with them. And so it's spreading the word about my business and hopefully, you know, that will bring in sales directly 
instead of indirectly through uh, commission. But that was really nice uh, uh, to be able to get that. Uh, but anyway, uh, what else is going on? I've got that to do. I've got that to do. I've got dishcloths to do up today because I really want those done and dusted. And then uh, the commission place also uh, wants me to um, uh, send them animals, which I had done. Do you remember the dogs I had done up? Those were supposed to be for them. And when I put them up, they sold, it Im sold immediately. So there went those. And so I've got to do up some more of them. Um, and I've got some other uh, uh, critters that I want to get done up and put in the shop and add some more amigurumis. Even though technically amigurumis aren't selling that well for me, I'm still doing it because <laughs> I like them. Uh, but anyway, uh, those will get up and uh, Zippy's going to have some buddies and stuff. And I was trying to think of anything else. Oh! Videos coming up. I'm going to be doing uh, a video on, uh, separately from this, it's going to be on Roy's Story Cubes. I'm going to be doing one up on it. Uh, and so that will be coming. And it's going to be in combination with um, Adventures in Cartooning book and Ed Emberley's books and the cartoonist workbook because I used to do this stuff uh, years ago aside from you know that hobby I also did some uh, graphic design for a couple places and design logos and whatever and that's what I was doing so why did I have someone else design my logo because my brain is hot that and without a graphics pad to be able to put it in with it just wasn't going to work so and and to be honest my little cousin she did a fabulous job on my logo so I am really happy she did much better than I could have ever done so anyway there's that and then um, also coming up I've got this and I'm gonna be talking about what I've been learning but in the differences between the two um, uh, scarfs that I've made this one, I admit, I'm three days behind on the scarf, so you're not seeing it. Uh, I've got to get caught back up. But anyway, and that'll happen tonight, probably. Uh, but I've learned so much from these. Not just about stitches, uh, changing the stitch over from being a garter stitch to a seed stitch, but the way that collars play with one another and how they mute one another out and how they may look good when they're held up, but what happens when you put them in a stitch. And so that's what I'm going to be talking about in a separate video. And those will either be coming out today or coming out tomorrow or within the next couple of days. Uh, but I do want to start covering uh, the color works aspects of making the scarves and stuff. Um, so that's going to be coming up uh, that I've got to get done today, preferably. Uh, so anyways, uh, that's basically it. That's going to be my day. Uh, getting caught up on a few items still, finishing up one, one last order, and getting on to the consignment order, and that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day, and be looking out for the other videos. Oh, and we're having the drawing today. Subs, uh, newsletter subscriber only drawing will be taking place sometime today, not quite sure yet when. And then, um, also, I hope to get a newsletter out today. Really hoping to have the newsletter out today using Sway, not one of the shorty ones. So Sway newsletter, be looking for it, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.